Hello again. I'm Chip Walker, Head of Strategy at Strawberry Frog. Uh, we want to thank you for being part of the 2021 Purpose Power Summit. Coming up, we're going to have a lot more phenomenal panels for you, a lot of fascinating conversations about purpose. Uh, and speaking of which, up next, I'm super excited to have a conversation with none other than Hanukkah Willenborg. She is the CMO at Seventh Generation. Uh, this is a brand uh, where, that when it comes to purpose, it, it's a brand whose reputation precedes it. So Hanukkah, welcome. And uh, I'd like to thank you much, so much for being here. Thank you. Happy to be here, Chip. Great, great. Well, why don't we just go ahead and jump in? Um, so Hanukkah, I think you probably saw that uh, for the second year in a row, uh, our Purpose Power Index research that we conducted here in the USA, for the second year in a row, Seventh Generation was the brand the US public saw as the single most purpose-driven brand in the country. And it was up against some stiff competition both years. Um, so we're particularly interested in talking to you sort of about uh, how purpose uh, guides you generally, and, and I think more specifically, things that happened in this sort of tumultuous 2020 that we just went through. So uh, why don't you just maybe start out by telling us a little bit about your higher purpose at Seventh Generation, sort of where did it come from um, and uh, uh, how do you talk about it? Yeah, great. Well, first of all, we are obviously all extremely proud and happy with this amazing acknowledgement for the second year in a row. You know, number one on this list, uh, looking at the other 99 brands is a is an achievement that is all making us very, very proud. So thank you so much of that acknowledgement. We really, really appreciate it. So yeah, our mission is in our name uh, and we, we lend our name from the great law of the Uruguay that is saying in our every deliberation, we must take into consideration the impact that we're having on the next seven generations. And that is what we do every day and, uh, and every night uh, and waking up with, with that mission in mind in order to really make sure that we build a company whose mission it is to drive a more healthy, sustainable and equitable future for the next seven generations. And obviously that was just as front and center in our 2020 as it was in the years before and the, year, uh, and the years to come. Yeah, but I'm, I'm wondering, though, I don't know if you're like a lot of companies that we've been talking to um, that are highly purpose driven, which is that I think purpose prepared them well to deal with the events of 2020. But there was just so much unusual going on from the pandemic to um, social unrest, uh, concerns about equality, etc. I'm wondering if there were, um, I don't know, special concerns or considerations that you guys were, were thinking about as you tried to live your purpose uh, in, in this particular year. Absolutely, absolutely. The first big consideration we obviously had eh, being a company that not only sells eh, amazing plant-based laundry detergent, but also toilet paper and disinfectant products, we were out of stocks. We could not keep up with our supply, which was horrible because yeah, specifically in periods where people are really looking for our products, specifically our disinfecting problems and our hand wash, it was just so hard for us that we need to disappoint people and could not supply them with the products that they were looking for. So that was a super big disruption for us in 2020 when I look at yeah, the external market. Obviously, internally at Seven Generation, this has been a difficult year for all of us, and it still is, you know, everybody uh, needing to work from home, trying to really balance sort of family life, children that need attention with everybody doing their day to day job was very, very difficult. Yeah, so I think it challenged all of us as a leader and it challenged us as a business. Absolutely. Yeah, as a leader, I have adopted the motto, which is around uh, lead with an open heart and, heart and a calm mind. I think definitely in periods like this that are just so volatile and unpredictable, you know, making sure that we care in the way that we always care, but also making sure that we keep calm is just so extremely important in order to navigate through storms like this. And so that's how we try to manage it. Of course, one of the first things that we did uh, was donating products to the people who need it most. And specifically our disinfectant products and our hand wash products, where we had them, we made sure that they came into the hands of the most vulnerable populations. 
had to make sure that we did our part in order to uh, in order to give people the products that they needed most at that point in time. Uh, it's so interesting. Uh, I, I'm wondering. So, so uh, you, that, that's obviously something you did for your internal, uh, your external stakeholders. I'm wondering, could you talk a little bit more about maybe um, how purpose uh, guided you for your internal stakeholders? Maybe just in general, but but also in particular this year. Was was there um, anything in particular that um, helped you guide your um, your your internal stakeholders, your your everyday employees? Yeah, that's that's an, that's a great question, and one of the things I love absolutely the most about being at Seven Generation is that all 160 people that work for Seven Generation live and breathe the mission of the company. It is a bunch of people that is just so extremely passionate and caring about each other, about our community and about the world that we live in, because all of us deeply understand that nobody can live a healthy life on the sick planet. So it's amazing that specifically in a year like 2020, people show up being so purpose focused themselves and everybody is contributing to how we're going to keep this business going, how we're going to keep it as purpose centers as this can be, and how are we really focusing on doing the most important things that we need to do. And as we always do year after year, we really incentivize that as well. And I think that's one of the uniquenesses. Our incentive systems is not only based upon the products that we sell, but it's also very much based upon um, our company mates, our sustainability and our advocacy goals. And you said your advocacy goals was the last thing you said? Yeah. Well, I was particularly interested in, in that also when you say advocacy, because um, I, I know you, you guys obviously have a strong association with all uh, many things environmental and sustainability oriented. Um, but uh, I, I think we've heard from a lot of other folks attending the, the summit that um, in, in the last 12 to 18 months in particular, they were, in addition to the pandemic, they were dealing with a lot of other societal issues that their employees were very concerned about, whether it be anything from racial equality to any of the other kind of social uh, unrest issues that, you know, have been in the news. I'm wondering, um, was that part of kind of uh, the, the way that you needed to respond in the past uh, few months? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And of course, eh, if you're in a mission-oriented company, who is looking about creating a more equitable world, we cannot stand aside if a societal impact unfolds like it was unfolding in 2020. And just like many other companies, we're on our journey in order to make sure that we are working as hard as we can to become an anti-racist company and to address white supremacy within all our systems. It is such an important journey and we take it extremely serious and are very, very, very committed to it. Uh, interesting, interesting. And, and so can, can you talk at all about, you, you said it becoming an anti-racist company. Are, are there some things in particular that um, kind of support that, that stance that you do? Yeah, sort of like as a mission driven company, one of the things that we advocate most about is climate justice because there is a extreme inequality in the effects of climate's impact in the groups of society. As in so many other areas, the most marginalized people get hit first. And therefore, externally, we are on a journey to fight climate justice. That's one of the most important things that we have so sharply on our radar and will continue to do so. And the reason that is, and the reason we advocate in that space is because we feel it's super important eh, for people to move their laundry detergent from plant-based to plant-based from petroleum-based. Eh? Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but you know, most of the conventional laundry product in the business are petroleum-based. And we know we cannot get to the climate change goals that we all have if we don't find ways to leave fossil fuel in the ground. It's so important that we're going to do that. So therefore we know we need to move people from petroleum-based detergent into plant-based detergent. What we also know, Chip, is that is a wonderful thing to do, but it's not going to solve all of our problems at all, right? 
And therefore, we're putting a lot of effort to make sure that we transition to a new renewable uh, economy. And so one of the key pillars of seventh generation is to fight for climate justice because we know the impact of climate change is unequal. And we will do that by moving people to plant-based detergent, but also really putting a lot of effort in the transition to a more renewable economy. And uh, the advocacy team in Seven Generation leads that. And of course, my role as a marketing uh, person is to make sure that we give that movement a microphone so that we create a mobilization and we create a movement for people to get involved because as a brand, we cannot do this by ourselves. Yeah, and creating the movement to drive the systemic change that we all want to see is one of the key objectives uh, that we have. And uh, you know, to, 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 to stay on that a little bit, because it's, I think it's also nice to tell you a little bit more how we did that in 2020. Yeah, so in ah. 2020, we came out of the gate with an amazing climate justice campaign. Uh, then, of course, because of the um, because of the pandemic, we needed to focus our attention to talk to people and engage with people on where they could find our products. But then in the fall, we knew we had another really big objective, which is getting people out to vote and vote with the next seven generations in mind. And so then we had a campaign in the second half of 2020 that was really encouraging people to come out and vote and to not only vote, but to vote with the next seven generations in mind. And obviously, uh, when you vote with the next seven generations in mind, you are voting with climate justice in mind, because that's one of the most important things that we can leave for, for the next seven generations. So that is how we uh, structured our campaigns in, uh, in 2020. Well, yeah, I wanted to ask you a little bit about that, because you guys are obviously a brand that's done a lot in the social activism front. Um, but at the same time, you know, uh, you, you, you are a business and, and you need to do regular marketing to, to I guess, you know, to, to sell products. Um, so I'm wondering if you could talk to us a little bit about either your thoughts, your philosophy, your experience about using purpose in, in more traditional marketing where you got to got to sell stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's a great challenge. Um, and the way we talk about this is our mission is our business and our business is our mission. Yeah, our business fuels our investment in our mission and our mission fuels the growth in our business. So in my view, it's a perfect circle. The one cannot live without the other. And it's so important for us to prove that model because I think it's the only model eh, as we go into uh, the next uh, decade, knowing the problems that we as a society have to, uh, have to fight. So it's the only model and uh, it works. It absolutely works. And one anecdote that I always lo love to talk about is that if I look at all of the people that we serve and all of the people that know seventh generation, I can split them between people who know about us and people who know about our mission. Of the people who know about our mission, not only are those people two times more loyal, but they also rank us far higher, even up to three times higher on really functional key attributes, like is worth the value, has products that works, da, 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 da. So not only does it really drive consumer loyalty when people know about our mission, it also moves the needle on yeah, making sure that people know that these products really, really work, and they do. Yeah, so uh, it, is, it is a super important part, not only about the story that we tell, but also the business that we're building. Well, that's a perfect segue to the, the another thing I wanted to ask you about was, um, you know, a, as a kind of consumer products company, you've got to do a lot of innovation um, just to, to keep up. You know, the markets you're in are full of innovation. And I'm wondering, how do you guys think about purpose informing how you innovate uh, in terms of products and services? Is it just that you think about just, uh, the next seven generations or is there something more, uh, more specific? Yeah, it is such an important question because yeah, we operate in a dirty industry and we have a huge role to transform it, to transform it uh, from its dependence upon black carbon to a uh, more sustainable green carbon. But also it's an industry where there is so much room to compact and to concentrate. Uh, one of the examples is our easy dose liquid laundry detergent. It's eight time concentrated and it has an automatic dosing. It's the best innovation that we've done in seven generation in a total of our history. 
it is taking out 70% of packaging and water and waste and people love it. Because why would you chunk around these big laundry bus bottles if you can really concentrate your way into, uh, into, uh, into your laundry chores, right? So there is a lot of work to be done in this industry and we're absolutely taking a leading role. And um, yeah, we, uh, we will continue to do so because innovating our way to more sustainable solutions, as you're saying, Chip, is just such an important component of it. Fantastic. Um, Hanukkah, I wanted to thank you. You've been uh, such a great uh, guest and speaker, letting us know about, uh, again, the number one purpose brand and the Purpose Power Index for second year in a row is seventh generation. I'm sure thanks a lot to your efforts, Hanukkah. So again, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, it, it's been fantastic. It was really, really nice to be part of it. And again, thank you so much. We're so proud of this amazing acknowledgement. Thank you so much. Have a good day.